what's up folks it's friday february 10th this is dj81 on the channel skins for life and as you can see here i got a little ghost recons gameplay from the closed beta got a chance to play it over the weekend last weekend it's obviously over with and i just wanted to share my impressions just real quick and then you guys can watch the rest of the gameplay after that but this is what I got from the experience. Now, first of all, let me go ahead and explain the game itself. Uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands is a realistic shooter. And what I mean by that is that it's a third person shooter with RPG elements, which is much different than The Division, which is a RPG with third person shooter elements. Because we all saw everybody go crazy when they were playing a division and they was wondering why it took so many bullets actual bullets to down people and the nickname bullet sponge was used a lot during the lifespan of uh, the division when it was just a simple misinterpretation of the game itself I think people went into the division thinking it was realistic and was still applying that same uh, mentality when playing the game when in fact that wasn't it but Ghost Recon is pretty much your more realistic shooter so headshots act like headshots and body shots act like body shots there's no points going off of people and stuff like that I have about six things I got from the, from my time playing uh, we can go ahead and knock out the negative stuff First and foremost, the over-the-shoulder aiming. It seemed like I don't know if I, it, I don't know if it was because I couldn't find it, but didn't really offer a, a shoulder switch mechanic. Uh, I felt like I was stuck with that view, as you can see, and you'll see it when I aim. That I was stuck with over the right-hand shoulder. I couldn't switch to the left, and that definitely not helpful when I'm on the left side and I'm trying to get a better angle on enemies and looking over areas so I hope they can add in well they probably will not be able to because the game is coming out next month actually beginning of next month it's coming out uh, the AI teammates are dumb as fuck <laughs> This game definitely, just like everyone else is saying, is better you get three other people and squad up and play. That's that's no question. And my biggest gripe is the cover system. The cover system is organic and it's wonky at the same time. Uh, it doesn't help in a firefight. It is absolutely useless when you're sitting there trying to get a better angle just like with the over the shoulder aiming when you're trying to get a better angle and the, and the, the organic nature of the cover system doesn't allow you to manually flip to the left side if you're on the left side of cover or flip to the right side it just does it on its own and then when you trying to inch when you try to inch over kind of does its own thing just like the AI teammates when you enlist squad over orders they do their own thing too all right, so the positives I got from the beta range from the graphics for a console game is really good. I, I really liked it. The weather effects, uh, the lighting was pretty good, especially at night during a thunderstorm while it was raining. That was, uh, I give Ubisoft credit on that. Um, character customization, right out the gate, seems like it's deeper as far as what type of stuff you can put on your characters like tattoos and and scars and different hairstyles seems like it's a little deeper than the division was so props to Ubisoft on that and then the huge map yes I use the Trumpism on that one a huge map now just for the closed beta you got a fraction of this huge map and it's huge yes so that was the last time i'll say it uh it's it's definitely big on the horizontal and vertical front so it is a big map b 
be prepared to have a lot at your disposal at your disposal when this game comes out. Um, so those are my six takeaways from playing Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands. Now, you can already see through the gameplay, my gameplay style, let me just explain that a little bit. So I tend to move slowly. I'm a methodical type of player, I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist, even though sometimes it doesn't quite turn out that way. Uh, I specialize in stealth and infiltration. As you can see, that's the gameplay I'm showing right here. So I definitely would like teammates that one is a good sniper and two, just in case I need backup for close support. Um, when there's a firefight involved, it's the same tactic I, I use in Battlefield 1 or any of the first person shooters. I tend to like to fight from a medium to long range uh, area. So that's pretty much my gameplay style right there. And I would like to know if anybody else, anybody that's viewing this video, if you've played the closed beta, what were your thoughts on it? Leave those thoughts in the comics, comment section below, and uh, I'll see you guys when this game comes out because I will be getting this. And I think right now I'm playing the For Honor open beta, which looks like I'm going to be getting that too. I know uh, Horizon is on the horizon later this month. I, I may get that. I'm not exactly sure yet. And uh, MLB The Show 17 is coming out uh, three days after my birthday. So that is definitely a, a birthday gift that I will be getting because I love baseball. All right. Well, that's enough. You guys can enjoy the rest of this gameplay. There's about seven more minutes of it left. So enjoy. Uh, again, comment below on your thoughts on Ghost Recon Wildlands. All right, then. Happy Friday. Peace. Tangles are marked. Standing by.
Bird. Ready to assault. Ready to engage. Rally up, people. Roger, moving. I got it, I'll fly. Choppers to help cartel crushing rebels. I love my job. <laughs> 